Welcome to another video from Matt's Metalworking. In this video I'll be showing you how to use a telescopic bore gauge. Telescopic bore gauges are used to measure the inside diameter of a hole or bore. These do not take the measurements themselves but is used to transfer a measurement to another tool. Typically a micrometer is used to take the measurement from the bore gauge. There is two types of bore gauges available which I have here. Both will have knurled thumb screws on the end to lock or unlock the measuring plungers can also be referred to as legs, anvils, pistons or spindles. This particular model has two plungers. They both move independently and are under spring tension. Once the thumb screw is locked it holds the plungers into place. Once released these plungers extend outward. Now for the other type which has a single plunger and the opposite side is stationary. Again, it also has the same style of thumb screw to lock and unlock the plunger. As you can see, I do have a full kit here, so not one gauge fits all size bores. The smallest I have is 5 16 to half inch or 8 millimeter to 13 millimeter, and the largest I have is 3.5 inches to 6 inches or 89 millimeters to 152 millimeters. This kit is made by Sterrett. Usually it's best to invest in a higher quality brand kit to achieve accuracy and best operation. To demonstrate the accuracy, I will be using my Fowler 1-2-2 2 inch micrometer that is able to measure to 4 decimal places or 1 tenth of a thou. Always make sure your measuring tools are properly calibrated and in good working condition so the accuracy of the reading will not be jeopardized. For this I am using just a scrap piece of round stock with a bore I had laying around with a smooth inner bore surface. Ensure the lock is loose, push the plungers in and tighten the thumb screw. I'll show you a few different angles so you know exactly what I'm doing. Ensure both the part you are measuring and the bore gauge plunger faces and micrometer measuring faces are clean. Insert the gauge and loosen the thumb screw to expand the plungers. Wiggle the gauge to ensure it's centered. Tilt the top of the handle of the gauge about 15 degrees off center and tighten the thumb screw. Just tighten enough to keep the plungers in place but not overly tight where they can't move. Tilt the top of the handle back just past the center point about 5 degrees and remove. Do this only once otherwise this can affect the accuracy of your measurements. At another angle, ensure the plungers are compressed and the thumb screw is tightened. Insert, loosen the thumb screw to expand the plunger. Wiggle to ensure it's centered. Tilt the handle off center about 15 degrees. Tighten the thumb screw. Tilt the handle past the center point about 5 degrees and remove. And again at a slightly different angle using the single plunger bore gauge this time around. Ensure the plunger is depressed. Insert. Loosen the thumb screw to expand the piston. Tilt the handle at about 15 degrees off center and tighten. Tilt the handle past the center point again about 5 degrees and remove. Typically I like to hold the micrometer in my right hand so this will be a little more challenging. With this I'm trying to demonstrate the accuracy of feel. You will want the same amount of resistance when the bore gauge was inside the bore between the measuring faces. Slightly twist and rock the bore gauge between the measuring faces as the pistons are slightly domed. So we are looking to find the high spots. I cannot see the reading on the mic therefore I can't make up my own measurement. The first measurement is 1.250 and 7 tenths. Now for the second bore gauge, this does take some practice and feel. There should be a light drag when sliding the gauge in the micrometer. Do not use a ratchet as this can cause too much pressure and push the pistons on the gauge inward giving you an inaccurate reading. Now to check, we have a measurement of 1.250 and 6 tenths. Finally, the same measurement of the same bore using the third gauge. If you are somewhat new to this, it's probably best to take a few readings to be safe until you build up that comfort level of feel. And our last reading is 1.250 and 6 tenths. So as you can see we do have an accuracy within 1 tenth of a thou. 
Results will vary depending on the user feel, experience, quality of bore gauges, and surface finish of the bore. Moving on to the last example for a different measurement and another view. Press the plungers in and lock them into place. Insert the gauge into the bore. Loosen the thumb screw so the plungers expand. Wiggle around the gauge to ensure it's centered. Tilt the bore gauge about 15 degrees off center and lock the pistons. Tilt the handle past the center point back at about 5 degrees and remove. Wiggle the gauge between the two measuring surfaces of the micrometer. Finally adjust the thimble and then take the reading. We have 1.072 and 5 tenths. Just to give you a final view of the large bore gauge, it's a little easier to see on this one than compared to the smaller gauges. The measuring faces on the plunger do have a slight dome, which is why we need to move around the gauge in order for the mic to catch those high spots for a proper reading. This concludes the rest of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below letting me know what you think and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my metalworking channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.